the Aramaic and Palestinian Targum, Torah portion Pekidi, and we're reading Exodus chapter 39. And of the hyacinth and purple and crimson, they made the vestments of ministration to minister in the sanctuary. And they made the holy vestments of Aaron, the priest, as the Lord had commanded Moshe. And he made the ephoda of gold, hyacinth and purple, and fine linen twined. And they beat out the plates of gold, and cut them into threads, to inwork with the hyacinth and purple and crimson and the fine linen, the work of the artificer. Shoulder pieces made they, for it conjoined, upon its two sides were they conjoined, and its ordered band that it that was upon it of the same. It was according to its work of gold, hyacinth, and purple, and crimson, and fine linen twined, even as the Lord had commanded Moshe. And they wrought the jewels of onyx, and chased, set, and wrought, graved with graven writing, setting forth the names of the sons of Israel, and he set them on the shoulders of the ephoda as stones of memorial for the sons of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moshe. And he made the breastplate of work of the artificer according to the work of the ephoda, of gold, hyacinth, and purple, and crimson, and fine linen. Four score was it, doubled they made the breastplate, a span its length, and a span its breadth. Jerusalem, a palm its length and a palm its breadth doubled. And they filled it with the four rows of precious gems, Magalan, corresponding with the four corners of the world. The first row, carnelian, topaz and carbuncle. Row one, and upon them were engraved the expressed and expressed the names of the three tribes, Reuben, Shimeon and Levi. In the name on the second row, Shmarag and Sapphire and Chalcedony. Chalcedony. And upon them was inscribed and set forth the name of the three tribes, Yehuda, Dan and Naphtali. And the name of the third row, Laguaya, Agate, and Emeseth. And upon them, and set forth the name of the three tribes, Gad, Asher, and Ishakar. And the name of the fourth row is Chrysolite, and Onyx, and Jasper. And upon them inscribed and set forth the name of the three tribes, Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin enchased and set in gold in their infillings. And the gems were according to the names of the sons of Israel, twelve according to their names, the writing engraved, inscribed, and set forth as the engraving of a ring, each man's gem according to the name of the twelve tribes. And they made upon the breastplate wreathed in chains entwined work of pure gold and they made two sockets of gold and two golden rings and set the two rings on the two sides of the breastplate and they put the two entwinements of gold within the two rings upon the two sides of the breastplate and the two, two chains that were arranged on the two sides they fastened upon the two sockets and set them on the shoulders of the ephoda towards its front. And they made the two golden rings and set them upon the two sides of the breastplate, upon its edge that was on the border of the ephoda in wood. And they made two golden rings and arranged them upon the two shoulders of the ephod, below toward its front, over against the place of conjoinment above the band of the ephod and fitted the breastplate by its rings to the rings of the ephod by a ribbon of hyacinth. 
that it might adhere to the band of the ephod, and that the breastplate be not loosened from being upon the ephod, as the Lord commanded Moshe. And he made the mantle robe, a robe of weaver, of twined thread of hyacinth. And the aperture of the upper robe was double in the midst, like the opening of a piece of armour, with a border around about its edge, that it might not be torn. And they made upon the bottom of the upper robe pomegranates of hyacinth and purple and crimson and fine linen entwined. And they made golden bells and set the bells among the pomegranates upon the border of the mantle robe, round about among the pomegranates. A bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, all of them, seventy, upon the bottom of the upper robe, round about to minister in, as the Lord commanded Moshe. And they made the plate of the crown of holiness of pure gold, and wrote upon it, inscribed, engraven, and set forth, Holiness to the Lord. And they set upon it a twined ribbon of hyacinth, to put it upon the tiara above the forehead, as the Lord commanded Moshe. All of the work of the tabernacle, the tabernacle of ordinance, was completed. And the sons of Israel did as the Lord commanded Moshe, so they did. And they brought the tabernacle to Moshe at his house of instruction, Beth Midrash, where sat Moshe and his sons, where he gave direction to them concerning the order of the priesthood. And there in Aaron also sat the elders of Israel. And they brought to him the tabernacle and all its vessels, its tassets, its boards, its bars, its pillars, and its bases, and the covering of red and ram skins, and the covering of purple skins, and the veil that was to be spread, and the ark of the testimony, and its staves, and the mercy seed, and the carubia produced by beaten work of the same, the one here and the other there, and the table, and all its vessels, and the bread of faces, and the candelabrium and its lamps, the lamps of order, which were ordained to correspond to the seven stars that rule in their prescribed places, in the firmament by day and by night, and the oil for the lights, and the golden altar, and the consecration oil, and the sweet incense, and the hanging for the door of the tabernacle, and the brazen altar, and its brazen gate, and its staves, and all its utensils, and the lavia, and its base, the curtain work of the court, and its pillars, and its bases, and the veil of the gate of the court, its cords and pins, and all the vessels for the service of the tabernacle, even the tabernacle of ordinance, and the vestments of ministration for ministering in the sanctuary the holy vestments of Aaron the priest, and the vestments of his sons to minister. According to all that the Lord had commanded Moshe, so had the sons of Israel made all the service. And behold, they had made it as the Lord had commanded, so they had made it. And Moshe blessed them and said, May the Shekinah of the Lord dwell within the work of your hands. Amen.